Hey everybody, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Hey, before I get on to today's video, let me remind you that Farpoint Farms doesn't just end with this channel. We have Farpoint Farms Restorations and Repairs, which focuses on automotive tools, equipment, and repair and how-to videos. And we also have a newest channel, which now is over a thousand subscribers. Thanks to all of you, Farpoint Mowers and More. And then, in a distant third down there, we have the Midnight Cafe, where you can catch older episodes of the shortwave broadcast that I do from time to time. Anyway, on to tonight's video. We've got this, which was a little hard to get due to all the weird stuff going on with tariffs and all that jazz. I'm not going to get into any of that with you, but it took a couple extra weeks to get here because there were some issues at the port. But they got it. Oh, this thing is really taped up here. Hmm. We'll get it out of the box here. This is a GMRS repeater. All right, well, here it is out of the box. That thing was really well packed. I'll just skip that over that for you. But it's the uh, Retrievus RTL repeater. It is, I'm sorry, RT97L repeater. And it's uh, one of their newer products. GMRS here in the mountains of North Carolina, not exactly as awesome as it can be elsewhere, mostly because of terrain. Take a device like this, stick it up high enough, and you can effectively double or in some cases triple your range depending on how high up you can get this thing for broadcast. Now, before I go any further, allow me to point out something to you. I'm no expert on repeaters, so that being said, we're going to kind of learn about this together because I think it's a, uh, a cool device and something... I don't know, I wouldn't call it a prep, but it's something that if you have a community that has terrible, uh, very bad uh, cell coverage, like my area here, well, non-existent actually, this is a way for you to extend the ability for you to talk with neighbors and friends. As long as all of you have FRS or GMRS, well in this case GMRS walkie-talkies or bases, this would allow you to effectively double, like I said, the range of that by being able to go from this and then out and back and forth. What we have in the kit here, a very stout looking power supply. One thing I do like is um, it's like a screw on connector here. So it's not something that's just going to wiggle loose. Uh, let's see what the specs are. 100 volts, uh, 120 in. Out, uh, output is 15 volts at 10 amps. Wow. Okay. 150 watts. So pretty impressive power requirement for this. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is for a, uh, if you want to use 12 volt cigarette adapter. And this last one here is our programming cable. Let me get it out. I was wondering about this because I saw this on the side. It is an old-fashioned serial port. And so this is a serial port to USB so that we can do whatever programming we need to do to get this thing set up properly. On this side, we have a PL259 connector for our antenna. Up top, a carrying handle. On the bottom, nothing. Solid metal. And I'm, when I say this thing's heavy, I mean it. All right, Retrievus RT97L GMRS repeater user's manual. Looks like it's 16 pages all in English. Talks about installing and removing. Okay, you also have a stand you can add to this. There's two little metal brackets. I guess they're still in the box there. I did see those there. I guess I didn't pull them out. And location and stuff. But we have key functions. So if you want to do this right from here, power this thing up. And we have a menu buttons and uh, up, down, right. And we have RX and TX are going to be lit up on this thing for transmission or, or receive. Low power, high power, keypad lock, wide band or narrow band, CTCSS, CDCSS, low temperature mode. That's good because it's really cold around here. The channel that we're working with. And, and there we go. So those are the digital things. Radio settings. We have channel lock, manual and auto, scan on and off, backlight on and off or auto, low temperature mode, audio mode, modem set, initial option, which sets everything back. And to check the firmware status, we have a software version. Very cool. Channels are the standard uh, you know, GMRS channel availability. And I'm just looking through here. We have DTC, SS codes, and all the rest here. So here's here we got 16 channels, all GMRS. Uh, bandwidth is 20 kilohertz or 12.5, so narrow or wide. Frequency range 462.550 to 462.725. So there you go there. Audio distortion is uh, more or less 5%. Frequency stability is 2.5 ppm, which is pretty good. Output power is in high mode 22 watts, in low mode 5 watts. 22 watts at the very top of one of the tallest mountains around here would probably cover a very large area. Um, one of the mobiles I have here, I have a 40 watt base with a pretty decent antenna on it. Get about 15 miles worth of range, but we're also about 250 feet below the tallest mountains. I live in a fishbowl. Put this up at the top there and you'd really be able to do some stuff here. It is FM modulation. It does require about six amps, give or take a little bit when you're transmitting 15 volts DC, as we talked about. It is a 50 ohm antenna connector. And um, there you go. Now, so I, you know what you don't see in here is an antenna because you need a GMRS base antenna to go with this thing. I happen to have one, so I'll be trying to hook this up over the summer and get this thing on the air. We had a GMRS repeater, and there was like one winter, maybe it was fall, that I was actually able to hear that repeater, and there were a few guys that were talking on it. It went silent after Helene and has not been back on the air, so I don't know if it was damaged or destroyed or lost. But, um, you know, if I'm able to get this thing up and running, I'll put it someplace, and hopefully it will help the community at large by having, by having the ability to, uh, to use it, to extend range, to be able to chat, all the rest. 
Very cool. Very cool. Well, I don't know that I need to plug this one in right now because there's not a lot we can do with it, especially without the antenna hooked up and having everything ready to go. But it is something that I just want to show off to y'all because, you know, it's going to be something I work on as a summer project to get it up and running, get it online, and get it um, permanently established so that we have a GMRS repeater in our area. I, I'm just shocked at the build quality of this. This thing is like ruggedized. You, I feel like you could drop this thing off a cliff. It'd probably be all right. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Very, very unexpected as far as how cool this thing is. Till next time, my friends. Take care.